Hey guys, uh, you saw the earlier video where I got my enclosures in and I thought this might be a good opportunity to go ahead and <clears throat> do a how-to on how to set that one up for uh, with your heat panels, your lights. Uh, just a quick tutorial on the best way to do that. So what we'll do is we'll go through our list of items needed first and then we'll go ahead and get started with the install. Uh, as you can see, I uh, got a radiant heat panel from Pro Products. Uh, if you call him up and give him the size of the caging that you're using, he'll ask you some specific questions about it, and he'll give you the heat panel that is right for the situation. Uh, we're also going to be using a Good Earth LED under cabinet bar light system. Uh, let me show you the... That is how it lights up. So it does pretty good, uh, very easy to put in. Uh, what else you're going to need is a drill with a quarter inch bit. I like to use two drills, one with the Phillips head, so you don't have to change it out. It just makes it a lot easier. you got your wire strippers, your wire cutters, uh, your tape measure, pair of pliers, permanent marker, two inch and five eight screws and some nut uh, wire nuts. All right, to get started, what I've done is I've placed my enclosure and if you can see, I've placed it upside down. Guys, this took me longer than it should have to figure out. I used to uh, try to put the heat radiant heat panel up in the upright position and you drop the screw and it's it's just a pain in the butt so like i said it took me way too long to figure it out that this is a much easier way all right so basically what we're going to do now i want my radiant heat panel on this side so what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole right here for the wire for the radiant heat panel we're going to drill a hole right in here for the sensor for your uh, thermostat and then on the back side down in here we're going to drill a hole for the wire for the light now i'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up and we'll proceed with the install okay as stated we're going to go ahead and drill this side here what i like to do this is a 24 foot enclosure so midway, of course, be 12 inches. Well, with these panels and the thickness of the, uh, the sides, we're gonna take an inch off of that and we're gonna do it right at 11 inches. And I like to do it about a half an inch up on the side. So we'll just drill this hole. All right, simple as that. Now, at the top, about the same distance, these measurements don't have to be precise, but I like to come down about an inch and a half to two inches from the bottom. Remember that the enclosure is upside down. Go ahead and drill that. Now again, that is for your probe, for your thermostat. Now, if I can move this without trying to make y'all sick, I'll go ahead and show you the other side. Now, remember, I've made this mistake earlier. This is upside down. Your light's going to go on the top of the, of the enclosure, so make sure you don't make that mistake like I did. Now, you can put it dead center, but when, and if you're only doing like a single stack, or if this is the only enclosure you have, that's great. Uh, I do a, a bunch of stacks, so all of my cables for the light have to go to one of the surge protectors. So I like to come in just a little bit more than half, uh, again, about a half an inch up, drill another hole. Now, that's it with the holes. Now, we're going to go to the actual wiring. 
Again, trying not to make you all sick and nauseous and everything. Once you got your holes, you're going to grab your radiant heat panel. You will notice that they come like this right here. All right, it doesn't have a plug in on it. So what you want to do, let me get this over where you can see it really good, is place your heat panel. Now the rough side is the side that goes down towards the snake. So flip it over, such as this. Now you're going to take your end there, put it through your hole. Now you'll have to help it a little bit because of the way it was it was brought in, kinked up a little bit. Um, go ahead and get all your little pieces of PVC out there, out of there as well. Now I like to roll mine over about a half an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch from the edge. One good thing about these panels is you can put them up against anything, whether it be wood, uh, plastic, anything. Uh, they will not create or cause a fire. So one other reason I really like the Pro Product line. Now you grab your screwdriver or your drill. Dinner. Now, with this being upside down, you can imagine that it is so much easier. The reason for the inch and 5 8 screws, you got a half inch. Your heat panel is a, a little over an inch. So, when you drill this in, it's not going to protrude through the, uh, through the top of the cage. These don't have to be tight. Uh, if you cinch them down, then yes, they may come through. So it's just a matter of put it in there and just make sure you can't uh, jostle it around. Do the same thing in the back. Hopefully you can see this. Probably on metal there. Didn't quite get the hole. Let's try that. Yep, much better. Again, doesn't have to be tight. And look at there, your, uh, your heat pad is all installed. Now, the super cool thing about the Pro Product line I really like this part. This is the, for the end of the plug, this is what you get. Now, basically that is your plug in. You take this, push it out, and you can open it up. All right, you can see on the inside, it's got the, let me make sure that is focused. Mm. See the two little prongs there. This is the really cool part, guys. You just take your wire, you slide it in all the way to the very top, you close it, take your pliers and make sure they are open uh, all the way. Set that on there, squeeze it, boom, it's installed. Awesome. I love it. All right. Now we're going to get uh, everything set up for the light and we will resume in a second. All right, guys. Now, here we are with the light. Like I say, it's just an LED light. What I like to do is about a third of the way down from the light itself, about this far, if you can see that. This is where the permanent marker comes in. This may be unnecessary, but I like to do it anyway. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking this permanent marker and I'm drawing a line about four or five inches on the one side 
of the wire. The reason for this is to make sure that we keep the same polarity, uh, keep the wires the way they're supposed to. So in between all that, I go ahead and cut the wire. Now on this side, on the plug end, I can go ahead and open it up. Take my wire strippers. Oh, and if you, if you don't have a pair of these, get them. They're worth every dime. All right. Kind of tighten those wires there. Now, I'm not going to do this side yet. The side with the light. Remember, we got that hole in there. So, let's move over to it. Alright. Got your hole in the back. Let's take your light. Push that through. And feed it all the way in. Do that like so. Now here's the part that I really like. This was actually kind of new with this one. Uh, I didn't have this before, but it's got a 3M tape. Put that on one side. I don't know if that'll hold, but we're definitely going to check it out. I don't know if the heat and the moisture is going to create an issue with that holding, but what the heck. If it keeps me from having to measure and put two screws and fight for that whole mess, I'm all for it. Peel the back off. Now I like to get that up in there as much as possible. Set it down in, press firmly on the light. And guys, you got a mounted light there. Now, let's go around back. Hope you guys aren't getting sick. All right, let's see what we got here. Again, the back of the Make sure what everybody can see. Yes. Okay. Now that you got that through and it wasn't a pain in the butt to push through because we left it together. Separate the two. Now. Go ahead and do the strip. Tighten it up. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. I'm having fun, so that's all that counts. All right. Now, you grab your plug inside, and there again, we've made the mark, so we continue with the correct polarity, if that is even a thing. I, I don't know. I'm not an electrician, so that might be something that's useless to do, but it makes me feel better. Get you the oh, wire nut. Twist on there. Same thing with the other side. All right. One more wire nut. And we're done. Everything is installed on the enclosure. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set that up on the on my stack over here, and then I'll show you the finished project. Stand by. And we're back. All right. So we got uh, we got this one set up. 
Take a look at, I got four done, so this will give you a good idea. But, let me get out of the light there. Now, these are the four so far of the new TGR. See the panels up there and the lights? So, I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Oh, there's Perseus. Oh, Perseus, big platinum, probably about 13 feet. One of my males. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're going to go ahead and say that if you have any product that you want to uh, have reviewed before you purchase it, by all means, give me a shout. Maybe I can help you out. Uh, I've gone through a lot of different uh, products, so if I have had uh, dealings with it in the past, I'll be able to let you know. Uh, for the most part, right now, I'm really liking these enclosures. So hopefully that helped you out in figuring out how to set them up. The little trick with the upside down, uh, making the enclosure upside down first, <laughs> hopefully that helped you out and you won't have to feel really stupid like I did for a long time. So uh, give it a like. Uh, thanks for watching and peace out.